Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mbarash and I will turn you to our 16th lecture of creating a complete hotel management system. You know, we always do 40 minutes. So I'll go ahead and start my timer and dive straight into today's business. Alright, so you can see I've already opened our project where I stopped at the previous lecture. Remember, we stopped at the level whereby someone could go ahead and click on check, or check out. They select the date when they will check in and then enter their email address, put their phone number, go ahead and select the date they will be there, number of days that they will spend, and then go ahead and book now. And then you can see the booking has been received. And um, you can see that um, the the booking that is still under pending someone can be able to do what can be able to cancel it uh, so right now we're going to focus uh, on finishing um, we're going to focus on finishing the process of um, orders then we shall come at once to finish now the dashboard we shall come when you're doing the mastering to finish the dashboard with the customer. so that's much said let's proceed to base code uh, so first things first, on this, I'm going to display um, the button of what? Of, um, the button of orders, okay, on this uh, dashboard. Let's go ahead and do that. So these are customer orders.php, customer bookings.php. So we shall do, we shall just simply go to our dashboard header. And then go ahead and check the person who is logged in. You want to check if the person who is logged in whether it's an admin or a customer. So literally, those are the two types of users that we have for now. But if you proceed, we can go ahead and add different kind of users. Okay. So what you're going to do? You will come here and say, "Is administrator of the customer." So. Uh, you can see someone who is logged in by just simply saying echo first give the first time you want to see the session of a person who is logged in okay so you can just simply say echo and then put a printer do some printer and then say session and then die so like this we'll be able to access the information of the person who is logged in which is the what User here, so you can do like this put you in this variable, you're able to see the person is logged in. So, for us, we're interested in this user type, this is a multi dimension array, just simply put the user type as a customer, right? So, we're going to check if someone is a customer, um, then we go ahead and do what and display uh, the customer bookings, okay. So let me first remove this what I'm doing. Okay, so I can just simply put here user type variable at once and make it empty. Then we go ahead and say user type variable equals that. Okay, user type variable equals to session user then user type array so let's go ahead and check if uh, the login person is a customer and then display mm. the display what you display the customer bookings so if i come and refresh you'll see want to put it here under analysis for example next to analysis okay Right, I say analysis. Let's say search for calendar. It's this one here. So I can check if this person is a customer. So I can just simply put check if is customer. So if you want this kind of free 
for the suggestions you can add in extensions an extension called codium codium will help to autocomplete things for you just simply just specify the kind of uh, function that you want to complete it will do it for you though i don't recommend it for learners okay so you check if the customer you check if the customer <laughs> i say <coughs> mm, php if user type so what is a customer like this okay then come and close this php here so if the customer will go ahead and display the what the bookings All right Okay, so let's go ahead and display the booking link. So put here customer bookings. I'll move this guy. All right, so after doing so. Put our link customer booking with that PHP like this. All right, so come and refresh. You see that we have customer bookings when you click there in the customer booking section. So I want us to have this state, this status of um, showing whether it is. Um, the active what the active the active item so you can just simply come here and borrow an idea an active item you just simply add a class called active like that menu item so if you add an active it will go ahead and format for you things like that okay In the menu item all right Okay, mm, so how are we going to do that? We can do that by just simply comparing, getting the last uh, section of um of what of um, of the segment of the link that we are on, and then we compare if it is what if it is. Uh, if it is what if it is an active class and then we go ahead and set active something like that so how can you do that you can write a function that can do that for us let's just call it get menu item class so we shall come here to functions i put here Call it get get menu. I can say get active menu class. Get active menu item class. So I can come in and we can receive only the path of that menu. All right. So let me just here and say time to get class so i'll go ahead and call this method here i'll come back to our dashboard header let me go on top just for testing i'll go ahead and get it like this so i'll have to pass which class i'm on i mean which section i'm on so i'm on the section of customer bookings customer bookings like this so after doing so we can proceed to to our class here so if i come and refresh you'll see that 
time to get class so what i'm going to do here i want to know which which url that you are on so to know the url that you own you just simply do um for example I'll just show you help a printer and then do some printer server all right so if you, if you dump the server you'll be able to see different information that were that came to the browser that was sent to the browser so the server spark global variable it will show you the current information that is going on so for me i want to get the last link so you'll see that if i come here and search for the last link the last link is literally here i mean here 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 request so request uri is the one that shows um the link that you own at this time okay request uri shows the one that shows the link that you own at this time all right so let's go ahead and get this request uri if i come and put it here request uri you'll see that this is the link that we are on right now so for me, i'm going to get just only the last part of the so i can just simply say uh, so this is the path that we want to compare with which is the class if you know that here we pass the table that we are on right i mean the, the path that we are on uh, so what i'll do i'll just simply go ahead and um, get what you call maybe path two equals to server the super global variable of server uri okay so if i come and dump this you'll see now of course we have what we just dumped which is this one let me show you if i come and dump it you'll see that we have this so uh what i'm going to do right now i'm going to split it and i so i can get the last variable here so to do so i can just simply say Splits or splits split equals to explode and then you say pass through. So when you say explode, it will go ahead and explode it right into a, a list of array. It will get that string and use whatever character that you've used here to explode it. So it's going to look for every stroke and then just dismantle it and to get the last car i mean to get the to convert to array so you see this is what we have so if you are interested in this last one so i'll check check if uh is not what is is not okay we can check if it's not is empty and return nothing okay if it's empty so i'll check if it's empty this split is empty i return just nothing one empty string if it's not empty i'm going to get the last what the last segment last segment equals two and then i put end split so this end it will get the end segment of that of a particular array so if i come here and do a uh, printer you'll see that last segment is equal to our what our last part of this link so that's what i'm going to check with i'm just going to simply say if if this segment is equal to uh, our path i go ahead and return active right else i return nothing so that is how we shall be getting the active class or not okay so let's go ahead and uh, call this class in where it's supposed to be so if i come and refresh of course we're going to see nothing because i have not enabled it all right so let's go ahead and uh, display the class uh status so i'll just simply come here active status let me this analysis thing we just wanted to keep it for the sake of drop down all right so let me now go ahead and call this see how i'm calling it i just give it whatever 
but uh button that you're on and then it will go ahead and show the status so let's go ahead and save that and then come to active status so i'll copy that save let me so everything is okay so i'm going to go to room bookings room i mean customer uh-huh customer what how do you call it customer bookings customer booking so here instead of putting active here i'll just be calling that uh, whatever class that we've just created say equals to then i close it so it's going to be checking if this link is equal to the link that we that that we are displaying here then it is true and it will make it active so going to do the same for the rest so if i come and refresh here you see that it is active right now now let's do the same for the room for example if i come to rooms i'm not it remains active it, here it stops being active okay let me first this let me first comment this uh, menu and sub menu share if you want it you shall find it there so if i come and refresh you see that if i click on room if i click on rooms Right, so let's refresh so if i click on rooms uh there's nothing that is active but if you click on booking you see booking is marked as active so what i'm going to do right now and this can simply do what i've done on booking i do it for the rest of what of the menu items so i'll copy that and then come to where there is uh this guy paste it over here i have put here the link so it can be able to do it to match accordingly i do that here as well All right go ahead and delete this so i make sure that i put room categories to be the one that we are showing at this level so in simple terms here it will be checking and if it finds it is uh, not there it is there i mean it is matching it returns the class and then we go ahead and put that class in this and then we shall go ahead and have that kind of state uh -huh. let me do the same All right. so let me do the same so if i come and refresh here if I come to rooms, you see the rooms are active. If I come to categories, you see the categories are active. That is so beautiful. So we shall do the same for the rest of the menus. So that is the logic that you can use to display an active item on your menu. Right, so we proceed to we proceed now to the uh, so if you're not an administrator, you're not supposed to the rooms okay so i'm going to hide this this button whoever shall add more security but for the sake of now let us go ahead and hide this button and leave it for what for administrators okay so i'll proceed back i will go and uh, just like the way we get we go to user type here so i have user type i'm going to check if you're not admin you should not see buttons mm -hmm. now shall we do that we shall go to where there is what are there's rooms room category we check if put php 
I say if user type is not admin, I come here and do what? I come here and close it. So if you're not admin, you should not see this. Unless you're admin, then you'll do what? You'll see this. Of course, you can put as well. If you could admin, then show it. Oh, sorry, I have to do like this. If you're, not, if you're admin, then show it like that, okay? Not not. Alright, so we do the same for that. Room what? Room booking. I mean rooms list. So if you come and refresh, you see that now the customer can only see the room booking. You see? The customer can only see the room bookings. Let's go ahead and remove that word management from the customer's interface. I just simply do the same. I can as well drag and drop it here. So only administrators can see it. So ah, now this list is not closing. <laughs> Let's put it here. I can also put this list in this last section where oh, I can do better, something better. <laughs> All right, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. This list is of uh, the main list. So if I come and refresh, you see that the customer is only getting uh, the rooms. Uh -huh. Then after doing so, the room bookings. Okay, after doing so, now I want to work on the logout. Let's go ahead and work on the logic of logout so we can log in as what? As uh, admins and we we should be able to change the room status, something like that. Okay. So how do you do that? So I look here for the word logout. Here it is, log then out. Log them out like this. Okay, so let's focus on that. So we want to put here a link that will turn well, that will send you to where to log out here. So I'm going to create my what my my file for logging out. So how do we do that? I'll just simply come and. Uh, Create a new file and call it logout.php. Okay. That's our logout file. Now let's go ahead and put that link in our logout button here. Let me remove this target blank so it can remain the same page. So there we go. Save and refresh. So I come and refresh. Everything is beautiful. I click here. I click on logout. It has taken us to our logout.php. So let's go ahead and put there the logic of uh, logging out. So I come there. Then PHP our our functions just like the way I did here okay so I'm going to check if the session is set on of user I can destroy the whole session like this session destroy it will delete everything that is in the session to log you out and then we direct the user index.php so if I come and refresh I can even send a message and say a light message say success and then say log down successfully you can see and then I will direct the user to, to index.php so that's our logout so if I come back I refresh me click on logout boom we have been logged out successfully <laughs> I'm not showing it here 
but the point is the person has been logged out all right to come back here just have to do the logic that if someone is not logged in they should not be able to access that section something that we shall do when you're mastering the what the system okay so then we need to put a login link somewhere here we can get one of these like um, this news and we make it account you remove this form and you put it here the main okay so the new section can remain there and let's say my account and that's why i put the login and the logout i mean sorry the register login those stuff okay so let's do that we shall go to public header and then search for what search for contact There we go, it is here. So the theme is simple and straightforward, right? You can see it is simple and straightforward. Contact can remain there. We can just duplicate this in my news. And then we go ahead and put go ahead and put what? My account account like this all right so after doing so um under my account you put login register log login and register That is when someone is not logged in. Okay. So if someone is logged in, we should show uh, something like uh, my dashboard. So the customer will take them to the uh, to the what to the customer page. If the administrator take them to the admin page, admin dashboard page. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. I think. Okay. Let's first put here. Let's first finish this one. And then she'll come back to put the relevant things okay so go ahead and put here login dot php come here and put register dot php i come and remove this word home it has a lot of drop downs i even remove restaurant and spa I remove this restaurant and spa and just keep them in a menu about us shall need it later let's go ahead and remove that this main drop down which is the home so everything should look better save let's go ahead and refresh now the home is gone now we have my account and then my account have login and register that's beautiful you click on login takes you to login you click on uh, register it takes you to register all right so let's go ahead and login as administrator so i go ahead and login as administrator hope this is my email hope that's my password all right so uh key number minimum length 32 pending redirect is not set all right let's go ahead and set that Alright, so if I try to log in, let's go and set on login login.php line 32. Are they 32? Let's go ahead and search for at least I go to the thing. So I'll come here to login and then I start to redirect the say redirect is not set. But we shall find out why. Uh so they say user does not exist. Alright, let me go ahead and give you some just local hosts. And then say what so let's get some local hosts. Um, let's go to go local host and go and get the what get the 
tail pro and then you get the room categories and then you get um sorry we go to users and then i get this main user which is this one all right so let's go ahead and put the email and password and click on login valid password for three two one valid password eh? one two three four all right so i've been logged in but you can see still i'm being counted as a what as a customer so that's a problem so what i'm going to do however uh here we have customer dashboard we're going to put uh customer.php i don't know why you put that file okay that will be the the main customer's dashboard no problem uh so let's go ahead and uh, get and change this user to admin so change this user to admin so the first user always change them manually however this email of mine is also for admin i can just simply come here and say admin as well however as a procedure i'll show you how we can use to set different kind of users with different roles using the web portal if I come and refresh, um, of course, I need to first log out. All right, go to our project, and then I go to where I go to my account, and then go to login. Put in my information, everything is beautiful. So, I'm an administrator, that's why I'm able to see everything here. All right, that's beautiful so i see here customer bookings am i still counted as a customer which account was this all right so it is admin admin so why is it why am i seeing customer bookings let's go ahead and find out all right sorry about that okay so let's go ahead and find out uh why is this showing me this so i'll go to our public and then go ahead and do some echo and let's say echo printer we well, go to admin header And then we dump the logged in user like that, and then maybe that here. Yeah. Right, let's see the person who is logged in. So if I come and refresh, you'll see that uh, this user is the one who is logged in. This user and this user type is a customer. Right, I think we have two mails there. Okay, let me log out and then we try again. All right, so do I have two emails? I think so. Yeah. Let me, uh, I see the problem. We did this when we had not started validating. Eh? That's a challenge. So, it's okay. So, let's go ahead and I log out again. Let me log in again. So, it. So, here. I'm no longer a customer. I've set myself to be what? To be an administrator. Right. So, let me go ahead and log in. So, line 51, there's an issue of a key not set. Line 51. Let's go to 51. Public header. Header, header, header. And then you got line 51. Sorry, in login, then you got line 51. 51. 51. All right, so they say this is not set. Okay. Array key. And define array key. Yet we have already checked if it's session. We check here if it's session. I mean, if, it's, if it is set, we check here. Oh, yeah. So I have to, un to undefine it after. I was undefining it faster before. So that's, that's okay now. I have to put this. Uh, lower than 
the redirect so i can refresh i should be able to proceed to home or to anywhere uh -huh. okay invalid password put two three four so everything is fine you see i've been taken to the admin dot php so that's what i wanted us to that's why i wanted us to do what to be so let's proceed so i'll go ahead and so let's go ahead and remove this printer So if I come and refresh, everything is okay. So you see, if I'm logged in as an uh, administrator, I'm able to see the rooms, I'm able to see the room categories, okay? So what we want to show here now, the administrator, we want to show him the what? The, the bookings, we want to show them the bookings so they can do actions such as the updating the booking page, I mean updating the booking, what? The booking status, whether it has been a approved uh, and then the system should be able to tell when um, this room is going to be uh, occupied so let's go ahead and do that so what i'll do i'll just simply come to okay so i'll just simply come to our ad room admin i mean customer room and just we just duplicate and then do the same just here, customer bookings. All right, so I'm going to duplicate that control shift S and call that one to be admin. All right, so let's go ahead, let's proceed. So I'm going to save it as admin bookings, admin booking, the other one as customer bookings. This one I'm saving it, save as control shift and S. I'm saving it as admin bookings. All right, so after doing so, does it have a title? All right, so, um, so I've got this. So these are admin bookings. So administration can give you much more things to do like editing and the rest. So let's go ahead and add this one on the menu and then we call it a day. So I've got public HTML and then, sorry, I go to header, dashboard header. So I benchmark from these ones and just duplicate for example this. So if it's an administrator, just duplicate this. Can be the same condition, no problem. And then I come and put here. it's going to be admin bookings and remember to put also here in the what in the class call as admin bookings so you can come here and say admin So admin bookings, they are the one where administrator will be viewing the bookings from. So you see, have here, uh, admin booking, it is changing to the link accordingly. All right, so in the next lecture, we shall be taking it from there. So uh, this is your heart.
All right. Yep, and the time is up. So if I come and refresh, I see, I have a booking. So in the next lecture, we shall now take it from there, where the, we shall show now the booking themselves. If you are an administrator, an administrator should be able to change the status of the booking. So I hope it'll be on, on the next lecture. All right, see you. Goodbye. See you in the next lecture. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, can you have any question? I don't have any question. I hope you've been following very keenly. Have you been following?